What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of free game here on exactly how to just absolutely turbocharge your trading profits. Now, you guys have seen me using this strategy on all of these live streams and I want to break this down for everybody to make sure that you guys understand exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the exact reasoning behind why this sort of strategy is able to give you such better returns. So guys, again, before we get into all of this information, if you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who do want to learn. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, I do want to give a shout out to a couple of our members over here that have actually been using this strategy here. Absolutely crushing it. 51% on Apple, 20% on the day on your account, uh, 6% on the day seven and a half percent on the day not a hedge fund over here killing it 22.3 percent on the day if you guys do want to come in here and learn these strategies get access to these proprietary trading algorithms all of these alerts the live streams and extracurriculum videos make sure you guys check out that link down below but let's get right into it here so when you break trading down you're essentially breaking it down into three main things the method basically the strategy that you're going to be using the mindset that you have going into every single trade in money management, your risk management skills. Now, a lot of the time what traders will do is they'll focus too much on the method aspect of it because trading is a new thing to most people. They're trying to figure out how, to, a, lot of th how a lot of things work and essentially which type of strategy is gonna work for them. But they, f they essentially spend less time on actually knowing exactly what to expect when going into a trade and really focusing in on risk management. Now, what happens a lot of the time is that the method, for me, it's 1348, the most profitable EMA crossover strategy, the method is going to allow you or it's going to show you trades that are going to run very significantly. Now, with your mindset going into the trades, thinking about that you just only want to hit base hits all of the time, that is an amazing way to trade so that you're able to slowly compound those gains. But what if those trades are going to run a lot more? Well, we've talked about the concept of making it free a lot in the past. And when you think about making it free, well, sometimes these trades have to run 20, 25, 30, 40, even 50% in order for you to get your initial investment back. Now, with proper risk management, when you see these trades starting to run that significantly, well, it makes sense to start taking money off of the table so here's where we get into this new strategy. Some of you guys might be using this right now in terms of how you're setting up your stop losses, but I think some of you guys aren't, and I wanna make sure that you guys understand this by going through an example here in the psycho psychological aspects of why we are doing this. And it really enables you to take yourself fully out of the trade and let the trade actually play out. So for example here, let's say we buy three call contracts, each costing $100 ETH, each the total amount of money that you're spending is $300. Now let's say the position ends up going up by about 10%. You're green by 30 bucks and your position is now worth about $330. Right now, great trade. You could take that base hit, lock in the $30 and be perfectly good to go. Add that to your cash balance and slowly start to compound. But again, remember the method might be showing you if you're using another key level up above that the trade might be running even more than you would actually have thought previously when you're about to take that 10% gain. So here's where we get into the next step. You can either do one of two things. I personally like to scale out and essentially make it free in a little bit of a different way. So you scale out by selling two thirds of your contracts, two out of three of these contracts, locking in a $20 gain. Technically, the remaining contract can go down by 20% total on that position and you're still green or you're still even but what i do is i'll move a stop loss to break even or slightly higher now the reason why i'll, why I'll move the stop loss to slightly higher than break even is that a stop loss is triggering a market order with a market order you're saying hey i would like to get filled at whatever the market price, once the price of this contract hits a certain level. With a limit order, you're saying, hey, I wanna get filled at this price or higher. So with a market order, you're guaranteeing a fill, but not necessarily a price. With a limit order, you're not guaranteeing a fill, but you're guaranteeing a price. So I'll screw around with the, uh, with the stop orders uh, and set them a little bit higher than break even or flat even on those contracts. Now, here's why this works so well and what I'll do, uh, after I actually set up these stop losses, it allows me to put my phone down and let the trade run. I'm already green on the trade. And if it comes down and triggers that stop loss, well, I've already made my money. 
I know I'm green. I've guaranteed profit on the trade. So when we think about the mindset and money management aspects, a lot of what happens to new traders and even experienced traders sometimes is they let their emotions and the psychological aspect of trading get to them. Now, if you're able to manage these emotions and hold the full positions, more power to you, that's your own prerogative. But for a lot of people, it's hard to manage those emotions because they've been learning to, oh, well, they've been seeing all of these gains on social media of 100%. 150%, 1,000% gains, and they think to themselves, well, this trade can go a lot higher maybe. Well, I'm just going to hold this when they have a 30% green trade that ends up going red, and they're sitting and thinking to themselves, I wish I just sold when it was up 30%. By using this type of scaling out in stop loss strategy, it takes your own emotions out of the trade. When you know that, okay, I'm slowly moving my stop back up into profit, well, then you're able to step away from the screen and you're completely out of the trade emotionally. Now, some of the other key aspects of this that I do want to go over as well is for me personally, I like to trade contracts with a little bit more time. So if I see those trades go up by about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10% in the green, it's more likely that they're going to stay at those points because the contracts are going to have more time and they're going to be a little bit less volatile. But let's actually go through an example of this, of what happened today. So as you guys know, you guys on those live streams with me this morning, I was taking spy puts right around here as we were seeing this nice break of this key resistance or support level. Now, again, I started to scale out of my position here and then you started to see the market move down even more. Now, in my mind, well, again, you can play and hold these through all of these rims and kind of ride these to these lows here but what i did was set the stop at break even slowly started to move it up and then i ended up getting stopped out in profit uh on this five minute candle that started coming back to the upside. And as you guys saw, I was playing Friday expirations on the spy and these were up 24, 25, 26% at any given time. If you're going in with 10% of your account and managing your risk appropriately, only risking about 1% of your account or less per trade, well, when you make 26% on a trade, your account is up 2.6% on the day. If you think about how much that is compounded every single day, again, you're going to have losses. You're not going to be able to do that every single day, but that puts you on the path to success. Now, the whole real reason here why I am trading like this is it gives me a lot of upside potential, but I'm eliminating any downside risk. I've already won the trade. I'm setting up my stop losses. I can turn my phone off. If I need to move my stop losses up to essentially do a little bit of a manual trailing stop, I can but I can fully let this trade play out. So again, guys, that is going to wrap up this video here. If you did enjoy the information and analysis that I provided for you guys in this one, make sure you guys go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy printing. Peace.